welcome everyone. Today is a new day. Uh, it was super foggy this morning, but it looks like uh, the rain should hold out. So in our last video, we cleared a little bit of woods, that woodline that we were working on for a few days. Tristan started bush hogging. Um, I just dropped Tristan off at the tractor. He's gonna follow behind me. We're gonna go to that same location that we ended uh, our last video with. And then we're gonna start working today. <coughs> all right, welcome everyone. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video from yesterday. Uh, we're, we're gonna be putting out a video every day for the foreseeable future. So if you like it, awesome. If you don't, then like I said, I guess you don't have to watch it. Um, but I hope you enjoy it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing here. I've said it previously in the uh, other videos. Um, there's no shortage of things for us to do. So that's why we have, we have this, um, we'll have a, a backlog of material for everybody to watch. We just want, we want everybody to see where we started from to where we end up. It's going to be, that in and of itself is going to be so, such an, a reward for us. Um, I want to say thanks to thank you to Carl Power. I uh, talked to him a little bit last night um, via YouTube. He found us on Instagram, so that's awesome. Um, I also want to say uh, thank you to, to Outdoor with the Morgans. Um, my dad watches y'all's channel all the time. Um, kind of like inspired us to actually do this instead of just coming out here and doing all the work. Uh, we want to show everybody how hard working we are and. Um, the things that we can achieve with uh, learning and um, engaging with people and learning from other people because we don't know everything <laughs> but we just we put forth the effort and that's that's the message we want to send really is like if you go out and you put in the effort and you do the work the reward of it is so much more gratifying so um, yeah thank you all so much follow us on Facebook at uh, Lally Farm Follow us on Instagram at Lally Farm and then subscribe to our YouTube channel, Lally Life. Thanks. All right, everyone. So, this is where we're going to start today. Uh, in our last video, Tristan took the bush hog over here and uh, cleaned it up a little bit so we can actually get back here and work with our chainsaw, um, clear all this little stuff up that's around these trees because you can't get the, the bush hog through them, it's, it's too narrow. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. He's going to actually start bush hogging um, some more stuff over here that he can actually reach while I'm clearing around these trees. So we're just going to walk through as a little reminder. Um, and if you didn't watch the last video, then you won't know what this looks like before we, he did this yesterday. But it's already nine day different, but after today and the, the days to come, uh, it's just gonna it's gonna look crazy so much so much more improvement that it'll be done today and like I said in the next few days to come uh, yeah if y'all have any ideas about things you like you would like to see us do on the farm you can put them down in the comment section or uh, on Instagram or whatever it is um, I've been getting a lot of engagement which is like I said, previously and I'm going to continue to say it, it it's encouraging it's like we're not doing it to, um, with the idea that everybody's going to like what we do and this and that and this and that because everybody's entitled to their own opinion and that's what it is it's their opinion I, I like honestly I don't really care I, I want to do this because I think it'll empower some people it'll um, show our growth and it'll, it'll give more character to our actual property um, get some in, in investment with people so people are gonna be like oh my god I can't believe Lolly Farm did this and made it look this much better and stuff like that so I can't wait um, hope you all enjoy so we're gonna cut right here and then get to work all right, everyone, before I start running the chainsaw, I'm going to check and make sure that I got bar oil and fuel in it. 
Bar oil is pretty low, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some. Can't tell if you can see that, but we're gonna add some, top her off with some fuel, and then get to work. And whoop, boom. Bing bang boom. Uh, you can hear Tristan in the background. You just fired up the bush hog and the tractor, so he's gonna go bush hog while I'm running the sow. Actually, before I put fuel in it, let me show you what I'm gonna do. So, around this tree, I'm gonna start out at running the chainsaw, cutting that stuff down. Then I'm gonna come to this little section of trees, do the same thing. Then this little section of trees, do the same thing. Pull it out some so he can bush hog over it. And then I'm gonna start here and pan my way back and forth with the chainsaw, cutting down that stuff around those trees. And just start feathering in to the woods, just like this, just like that. So yeah, that's what is on the agenda today. Uh, let's look and see if we can see the sky. So if it can hold out today, which it's not forecasted to have any um, rain, so that's it's going to work in our favor. But uh, I'm going to do that today, and then need to break out the old uh not old it's brand new break out the uh zero turn cut the front lawn because my daughter's birthday um birthday party is actually going to be saturday so we're gonna have a bunch of people out um so we might show you that might not um but we'll probably record at least her birthday party and her uh, let y'all meet her um her name's gwen so she'll be turning one years old so it's exciting but yeah, stay tuned. So like I just mentioned, we're gonna just go ahead and start. No better way to do it than to uh, get to it. So that's what we're gonna do. So as you can see, we got our first little section done. It took like four or five minutes, whatever, nothing. But now we're gonna start on this section and get to it. Um, well, look at this little dead tree right here. You can't see it right now, but it's got all kinds of like woodpeckers, uh, holes in it and stuff like that. It looks kind of cool. We'll eventually cut it down probably, but not today. We're gonna try to do some more clearing. So, here we go. So, as you can see, everyone, got that nice and cleared up gonna go over to this section right here probably limb them up to that that T right there oh yeah get in some more brush <laughs> so yeah we'll just take the chainsaw in here cut all that down come over here cut that down 
And then I guess start working right here, cutting this down and just following that line all the way out. Stay tuned. So it's getting a little warm. I meant the temperature outside, not the chainsaw. It's already warm. So what I'm going to do is cut me a channel in here. So Tristan's done bush hogging right now. Uh, he's gonna come over here in a minute and he's gonna bush hog all the, the little yopon stuff after he pull out the big uh, branches. And then he's gonna bush hog this area and I'm gonna start working on the area behind the camera. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Start clearing this little section around this tree. And we'll hop to the next and continue our work. Uh, there's a bunch of vines. You can see me pulling on them. Um, cut them off at the, the root and then hopefully they'll die and we can pull them out later. Um, but yeah, we need to limb these. I'm gonna go to that little island section. I'll show you in a second. Then I'll go ahead and clear out the path behind y'all. I'll show you that as well. Um, I know what a lot of people are gonna say. They're gonna be like, why are you cutting all this brush down? Why are you cutting all these trees down? Um, you're ruining animal habitat. Um, but that's not the case. Literally, it's not. So all of this land, our plan is, our goal is, is to make this a silva pasture. So we have our seven acre pasture behind y'all, behind the camera. And then this is gonna end up turning into silva pasture, which is wooded pasture. Um, it'll have grass through it and it'll look gorgeous, beautiful. If you ever watched uh, Lord of the Rings when they're in the Shire and like Frodo's sitting underneath the tree reading the book, you see all that grass between those big trees that he's sitting by. That's kind of what it's going to look like. Uh, and that, and the other fact is, the west side of our pond. <clears throat> I know I said river in one of the the videos, but it, it's a pond. Um, the west side of the pond, which ends up being around 20 acres, that's going to stay wooded like this previously was um we have trails going throughout which we'll we'll clear up we'll clear the the pathway we'll clear the overhang but for the most part all of that's going to stay wooded heavily wooded um i'd say 97 percent of the trees that we have on our property are hardwoods uh, from the drone shot you can see a few uh evergreens or pine trees but eventually they'll come down for sure uh, but like I said, the vast majority of our trees are hardwoods and we want to keep those. We, we love hardwood trees. Um, I, my, my dad and I and my brothers um, absolutely hate pine trees. Uh, but if you can imagine that right here with our cows and all of our animals being able to range through. Um, you ever watch uh, like Justin Rhodes or something like that? Um, Polyface farms, stuff like that. That's kind of the idea of like what we're gonna do. Um, it's a little, 
crazy. It's against the grain. It's a, against the norm, and people are like, "Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work." But we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it work, and then everybody's gonna be like, "Oh wow, I can't believe that works!" And we want to do that. Uh, so that's our plan. So go ahead. Like I said, I'm gonna clear this little stuff up for the day. Uh, I'll do a closing with y'all, and then get some get the drone out and do a little flyover and see see from an aerial view of what this is exact, exactly is looking like. So, thank y'all. <clears throat> it's a bit warm today. <laughs> now, it, it's like 75 degrees right now, but there's so much humidity. That and working a chainsaw for a few hours will do that to you. <laughs> everyone so that's what we just watched look at this look at this guys after all these days of rain uh, so much better go out here look at it from afar looks see how much different it looks like gorgeous sorry about my shadow <laughs> Got to do this little section still. Probably do that tomorrow because I want to get drone shots of those guys. It's going to be awesome. Uh, tomorrow morning, finish that part that I just showed you. Bring out the pole saw. Limb over those trees. And then um, go into the woods. Was We were going to do that today. But got tied up with other things and... So that didn't happen. That's how it is on a farm. There's always something happening. So, But we'll take a walk in the woods and see the bush hog pro progression. And then this is another section that we have to have to knock out too. That shouldn't take too long, probably 15, 20 minutes. But look at this. Look how pretty it's coming along. Opening that up. Look at that blue sky. It's awesome. Thank y'all so much. All right guys, well, today's, or right now is the end of the video. Um, well, actually there's gonna be a little bit more, but uh, right now we're done with work for the day. Um, we got a good amount of work done. I don't know if you can see from the background, but um, got a lot of stuff done up here. A lot of bush hogging's been done. Um, there's also a lot more bush hogging to do. Uh, we have some clips of bush hogging when he first started that I'm gonna put in the video. Um, but at the, at the end of the video, I'm gonna we're, we're gonna get in the side by side, and we're gonna drive through where we bush hog today and yesterday, and then I'll get on the drone and I'll do some aerial shots, see how it turns out. Um, I just want to thank everybody who's liked our videos, who's watched our videos. Um, just continue to do that. I mean, we're doing it for us, but we, we want to share our experiences. We want to share um, how we manage this land, how we turn it from something that was just overgrown, that just was mishandled, into something that's gorgeous, beautiful, people want to see it, um, and then can raise our, our animals. Um, that's, that's one of our goals, is to have a, a fully functioning, awesome farm that we can take pride in. And that's why we're doing so much hard work. Um, a lot of people don't want to do hard work. That's a lot of the problems now is people are, are lazy. But you won't find laziness here. We put forth the effort. Um, just like our stuff, share it, subscribe. Um, and I'll, we'll see you all tomorrow. All right, thanks.